Okay, how about today, a uh, battle of heating up water? How about the diesel air water heater that we got from China, this one, versus the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12 kilowatt on the EGR cooler heating up water versus the diesel air water plus the EGR cooler heating up water versus my abomination with the EGR cooler heating up water versus a Webasto Z. Okay, slight problem that the Webasto Z that we bought doesn't actually work, so it won't be featuring in any of these tests. Heating up water. I just need to build that into actually running, but I can do that while the test uh, goes through. So I thought we'll set them up as close to exactly as the same as we can, as close to. So we'll have the same water pump, the same pipes, not the same water, obviously. Well, we could use the same water, we won't though. We'll replace the water, but we'll run it for a set amount of time. We'll take the water temperature to start and the water temperature to finish, and that'll give us a rise in temperature, plus time. Plus, I have also purchased some very, very cheap kitchen scales, and I have sat the diesel in there. There is currently 900 and... Oh, that looks like... 80? Yes, 980 grams in total there, so we'll just take the measurement before and after and see how much weight of fuel is used, which we can convert to litres afterwards. I think we'll run each one for half an hour, because I don't have all the time in the world. Run them for half an hour and see what the raising temperature of the water is, and that'll give us a fairly good comparison of this heater versus this plus an EGR versus this plus an EGR versus this plus the EGR versus the Webasto Z. Which, remember, its entire purpose is just to heat up water. This only heats water. Okay, that combination would only heat water as well. But the rest of them heat water and air at the same time. So, let's get started. Okay, I've got the thermometer till we take the initial temperature reading for the water. Initial temperature reading for the water is... 14 degrees, is that in shot anywhere? 14, 13, 13, let me just wiggle about a bit. 14, somewhere between 13 and 14 degrees. Okay, we'll take that as our start temperature. Having us set up, I'm gonna turn the water circulation pump on straight away basically, as soon as I hit go, and we'll time it for 30 minutes, and I'll bring you back. I won't make you watch all of this because that would be boring as hell. Right, let's get going. Oh, one last point is I'm going to run them all as as most powerful as they can go at an absolute max amount, and that's 30 minutes for me pressing the actual start to finish. So I'll take into account how long they take to fire up as well. So let's fire them up. Press and hold. Go. Okay. Fucking maximum power. 30 minutes starting now. Okay, 30 minutes have elapsed. Here's now shutting down. Believe me, I'm just as curious to use to see what temperature we finalised at. So let me just set this to degrees C. Pop that in the water. Okay, after half an hour running, that is 69 degrees. 69. 70, 69, 69, 70, so it's probably like 69 and a half. Okay, 69 degrees, that's not bad. Right. Half an hour, raised up to 69 degrees, and uh, I'll just work out how much fuel it used. Okay, according to science and my phone, we have converted, well, first of all, we used 190 grams of diesel, and I've converted that using this website into millilitres, and it gives us 214.6 millilitres, or 215 millilitres of diesel in that half hour burn. I hope somebody's writing this down. We went from 14 degrees to 70 degrees in half an hour and used 215 millilitres of diesel for the air diesel heater. Right, on the next one. Right, this one is the air water heater plus the EGR cooler and we're back at a new 10 litres of water. Let us take the start temperature for our water. Da, 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 da. It's fresh at the tap. It's a whopping 15 degrees. 
So 15 degrees, write that down, let's max this power and go for broke or something. You know what I mean, let's get started. 30 minutes, starting now. Go. Maximum power. Okay, timer's off. Let's take some measurements. Timer's off. I mean, the timer's finished. It's not off. The heater's off. Okay, let us thermometerize. How much hotness is the water? Piss off, flappy thing. Let's get that. It is 75 degrees. Hmm, interesting. I thought it would have got hotter with the additional EGR cooler heater. Okay, 75 degrees. Oh well. It is what it is. I've lost my marker pen. I'm, I'm writing this, this shit down. So we started at 15 and we went to 75. Okay. And fuel. Started at 780, we're now doing a 5, 6, 5, 580, 580, 580, that's 200 mil, that's pretty much the same as the last time, give or take a few mil and the inaccuracies of my purple kitchen scales. Okay, uh, swap out the water. And we'll swap in for the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the larger of the heater bodies. We'll swap that in and we'll keep everything else the same. We're going to keep this because obviously some of the pipes have changed size because they don't all fit together. And I don't have enough of this silicon stuff because, you know, Christmas and delivery, etc. But if we keep all that the same, all we're going to do is undo that exhaust and put it on here. So that should keep that whole side of the setup the same, he said, confidently. No, no, I'm confident. Right, let's do that. Right, we have the larger of the two heaters attached to the EGR cooler, plumbed back into our now cold uh, tank of water. Let's do our initial temperature reading. Initial temperature reading is... 15 degrees, again, still 15, Ta that's tap temperature, 15 degrees, and I will fire it up, pump's there, just needs to get the last clip on, I've set it to an impossible 30 degrees for in here, so that'll run it at maximum power, and that's pretty much it, good to go I think, right, let's fire up, get the timer going, and we're ready, ready, and... Go! One of them. Pump. And we're off. I'll bring you back. That's ignoring me. Off, good, okay, wow. Right, 30 minutes has elapsed. The heater's now turning off. Uh, I'm now going to get the thermometer. Let me just uh, unclip the pump. Just now. Here we go, pump is unclipped. Let's go degrees C. What do we start with? 14, 15 degrees. And we're up to a whopping... 32, 33, give it the benefit of the doubt, 32 degrees, it's not really quite as impressive as our one is it, it's, it's half as good we'll say, it's half as good but then again it's absolutely free heat, by free heat I mean it's recovered from the waste exhaust heat, don't screw that on your depth shit, 32 degrees I'm going to write that down, oh I'll have a find a pen, there it is, one pen, 32 degrees. Okay, that's that one done. Now we just have to do the abomination. Hiding under this rag is the abomination, which is the two kilo here. 
with the end chopped off it, a bit welded on the end of the burn chamber, so you're basically getting the full burn chamber out through the EGR cooler. Got a bump, put plugged in, we're on the rotary controller because this is for the 2 kilowatt here. And all we need now is a 30 minute stopwatch and begin. And I'll bring you back once it's run its course. Okay! That is the abomination and EGR cooler as a heater thing working. Right, that's now coming down off its cycle. And where's the thermometer? I should have said that I took the temperature before I started it and it was 19 degrees water because the water was slightly warmer this time. To start with, but that doesn't affect the... Right, let me stop the pump pumping. So we started with 19, we've run for 30 minutes, and we now are... 64. Let me just wiggle that about a bit. 65, we'll go call it a nice round. 65. 65, let me write that down. Lest I forget. 65. 65 degrees. Okay, and how much fuel did it use? We're at 240, we'll call it 240. 240, started at 420. Yeah, 420, 240. 100 grams, so slightly less than the bigger heaters, as you'd expect, because it's a smaller heater. But it didn't make significantly less heat. And that just leaves the Wabasto Z once I finally make pipes to fit it because it's not the same size as EGR, which isn't the same size as the fixings for the air water here. It's actually proper big car size. Remember that odd piece of size pipe I found last time? Yeah, it's that size. It's, uh, what is it, 19? 19 mil? 19 mil. So we have to make some adapters or something to get the Robasto to join to this. Right, we'll do that. Let's go through what happened with the other heaters. So, the Chinese diesel heater by itself raised 10 litres of water in 30 minutes by 56 degrees and used 215 millilitres of diesel to do it. Our next test was... Oh, no minute. Uh, next up was the diesel heater plus the EGR cooler and that raised 10 litres of water in 30 minutes by 60 degrees and used 225 millilitres of fuel. I expect that to be more and yet it was not. Next, oh I'd say it was wrapper now because I was playing with it, uh, was the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 large of the two heaters heater plus the EGR cooler and that did uh, 10 litres of water, 30 minutes, raised it by 17 degrees and used 169 millilitres of fuel to do that. Uh, lastly was the Abomination heater, that what I have created and the EGR thing mounted in the end. That raised 10 litres of water in 30 minutes by 46 degrees and it used 200 millilitres of fuel to do that. Interestingly, while it used 200 millilitres of fuel, I don't think it was burning at all because I ran all the other heaters in here. Carbon monoxide alarm, no fucks given. Ran that little heater, ho oh, ho, fucking hell, it was going off, it's not at me. Yeah, you can actually smell and taste the unburnt diesel in this thing, so yeah, it's little controllers. It just goes to max, it just fucking fires as much fuel as it humanly can. And, uh, humanly? Well, possibly, machinely can. And anyway, anyway it was, I think it was uh, putting in a lot more fuel than it was actually burning. But those are the results. Surprised that the air water heater plus EGR didn't produce more heat. I may run that experiment again just to confirm those results, but that's probably a job for another day. I did decide to run the experiment again because I wasn't 
entirely convinced that I'd got all the air out of the system that I was testing, but I ran it again and got exactly the same results. Again, I apologise, we could not test the Bubasto Z in this video setup, but uh, thanks for watching guys, I hope that was somewhat useful. See you next time.